All right. So we're actually going to start warming up on the floor this morning. We're going to come to the floors, and we're going to start with a little hip warm up. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the knee out to the side, kick it up, and then bring it down, out to the side, kick it up, and then down. We're trying to just warm up the hip here, okay? And pressing equally through those front two hands. <clears throat> Give me one more this direction, and then we're going to switch it. So I'm going to kick up first, out to the side, return, kick, out, and return. Do a couple here, and then of course we're going to do that other side. One more here. All right. So then we'll do that other side. I'm going to flip around just so you can see. Okay, so out to the side, kick it up and down. Out to the side, kick it up and down. Making that circle, warming up that hip joint. Do a couple this direction. And then we'll switch it the other way. Two more. And again, pressing equally to those front hands. All right, so reverse it. We kick up, out to the side, and down, kick up. Out to the side and down. <clears throat> A couple more this direction. Give me two and one. All right, so we're going to come to all fours again, recenter ourselves. This time we're going to bring up one hand. We're going to rotate in, rotate out, rotate in, rotate out. So we're rotating through the spine a little bit here. Warming up. A few more. Two more. Give me one more. All right, then we're going to do that other side. I'm going to switch just so you can see me. You're welcome to stay exactly where you are. Arm comes up. Rotate in and out. Rotate in and out. Keep it going. Do a few more. Let's do two more here. And one more. All right. We're going to stand it up. We're going to do a skater. So we're crossing behind. We're going to do a tricep kickback as we go. So we'll cross behind, extend the arms. Press behind, extend the arms. Right here like this. <clears throat> We'll start it nice and easy and slow right here. Very intentional, side to side. And as you get going, you're welcome to make that a little bit more of a hop, side to side. Very good. Chest are still raised. We're not rounding forward. Let's do two more. And one more. All right, bring it back. We're going to do a lunge with a twist. So I'm going to do a reverse lunge. We're going to twist towards that back foot. Bring it forward. Other side, reverse lunge, twist towards that back foot. <clears throat> you decide how low you're sinking into this lunge at this moment in time. We're just warming it up. No need to go super deep at the moment. Watch the balance, especially as we're starting out here. Let's do one more each side. And bring it back to center. Give me like a march or a jog. Keep those arms in this big circle. Circle them the other way. Now we're going to do a little chest opener, take it out and across, out and across. Excellent. So today we're going to be using weights for a lot of the exercises. We're going to be focusing on one muscle group at a time and actually doing, you can just shake those arms out, doing three exercises in a row that will work that same muscle, followed by 30 seconds of cardio. So everything's going to be 30 seconds. So for example, our first little set here is going to be biceps focused. So we'll start with a regular bicep curl, 
I mean, I'm not trying to be holding still. So start with a regular bicep curl right here like this for 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do a hammer curl. So we just switch the orientation of the hands, coming right here for 30 seconds, followed by a high curl right here for 30 seconds. You probably wanna go lighter on your waist here, followed by cardio, which is gonna be an alternating knee drive where we step back, up, up, comes to center, step the other foot back, up, up, come to center, or pop it in the infinite, power it up, power it up, okay? So again, three curls moves, curls, palms moving up, curls, palms towards the body, up to the side of the body, and then high curls, okay? We get 10 seconds in between. So I'm gonna use two different sets of weights. I'm gonna use a heavier pair for my regular curls and my hammer curls, and then I'll switch to a slightly lighter one for those high curls, okay? I'm gonna get them, put them right by me, and then we'll get our timer going. Start going with this fun. Think of what you can do for a weight for that amount of time. You need to go lighter, or if you're good to go, is what you have. All right. All right. We'll have 10 seconds to transition between each exercise so you can switch out weights easily, catch a quick breath, okay? All right, on your mark, get set. Here we go. Regular curls, palms are coming up towards the body. Remember, it's not for a certain number of reps. If you want, you're welcome to alternate one arm and then the other, okay? That would kind of help you keep the momentum going for a little longer. We've been at it for 20 seconds, 10 to go. Wait for that beep. All right, 10 second rest. And then I'm gonna take my weights so they're parallel to my feet. Again, if your arms are getting tired, alternating is always an option. All right, here we go. Curl it up and down. Up and down. Or you can start with them together. And then when you realize your arms are tired, then feel free to alternate one arm and then the other, okay? Do what your body needs. Get through this. Less than 10 seconds. <clears throat> Keep it going. All right, then we'll switch to those high curls. So I'm going to my slightly lighter weight. <clears throat> this one can also be alternated, okay? So I'm up high, curl it in and out, in and out. If you wanted to alternate, I'd alternate from in instead of out, okay? Like this. And check the time, 10 seconds. Feeling it. Breathe. All right, cardio, set the weights down. This is the ultimate knee drive, so give you a little bit of a break. I take one foot back, here we go. So I knee drive up, come back to center, switch. Knee drive up, back to center, switch. And again, if hopping's not your thing, just give me a powerful knee, and then switch sides. Feel free to grab a sip of water. <clears throat> Take some deep breaths. Bring that heart rate down a little bit. So we're gonna be doing triceps next. So I'm gonna go a little lighter than I did on my bicep curls. Sorry, my socks are like sneaking into my shoes. <clears throat> we start with a tricep kickback. Again, these ones can also be alternated. So the first one will be a kickback. Arms straighten and bend, straighten and bend. Then we'll do the next one will be overhead, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, followed by a skull crusher where we go down to the floor. 
Extend the arms up overhead. Bend at the elbows, bring the weights by the ears and straighten back up. We also can do this with one dumbbell. In this case, it comes towards the forehead and back up, okay? You can switch the weights as needed so that you can get through those three exercises. All right? And then cardio that we'll do at the end there. It's going to be a three-step shuffle. So we're going to go one, two, three, pull. One, two, three, pull. Okay? All right. So grab the weights that you want to do for this one. We'll get started in about seven seconds, starting with that kickback. <clears throat> Two and one. Here we go. Straighten and bend. And again, if you want, you're welcome to do one arm at a time. Make it a little bit more manageable. Or do both if you're feeling it. Breathe. Really burning out each muscle group as we do it. Make sure you're still focusing on form. Almost there. 10 second rest. Overhead is next. If you want to drop down to one weight, that is absolutely an option. I'm going to take mine overhead. Here we go. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Make sure you're standing nice and tall. And of course, breathing. I always want breathing. Keep it going. Almost there. Listen for the beep. All right, 10 seconds. We're coming down to the floor for skull crushers. Next, okay. I'm gonna bend my knees. It might be on the floor. I'm going to bend and straighten. Remember, you can also use one weight for this one. Breathe. You can also alternate this one if you are using two weights. Less than 10 seconds. There's the beep. We're going to stand up, do that cardio, and then have a break. So it's the three count shuffle with a pause, and then bring it back. So one, two, three, pause, one, two, three, pause. I've got a slight bend in my knee. I'm in a tiny bit of a crouch. Taking it back and forth as fast as I can. Keep it going. Less than 10 seconds. Rest. All right, next one. Stop this for a sec. Next one is going to be leg focus, especially hamstrings. So we're going to start with a deadlift. I'm taking two dumbbells in my hands, starting at the top. Chest is open, shoulders are back. Nice straight back. Trace the leg and back up. The first move. Second move is going to be a low squat. You're welcome to keep those dumbbells in your hand. Just squat as low as you can. Press up, weight is in the heels. The third one, this is where you're going to want to grab a different piece of equipment. We're going to be doing ham curls. I'm going to show you two ways to do ham curls with either gliders or an exercise ball. And then I'm going to show you an exercise if you don't have either of those. So, if you have gliders or a towel, you can do hand curls by coming down to the end of your mat. Feet on the towels, lift up into bridge, take it out and in. If you're not quite to the double feet one, I'm going to take it to the end of my towel, one foot on each end, go out and in, out and in, alternating sides. That is an option, okay? This can also be done with an exercise ball, which I think is what I'm going to use for the move. Also coming down to the end of the mat, feet coming up on the ball, lift up into that bridge, curl in and out, 
in and out. And if you don't have any of that, which is totally fine, understand that everybody has all this equipment, you're gonna lift up, step out, out, in, in, and do just a little walking bridge there, okay? Then we're on to our cardio at that point. <laughs> no one better way. We're gonna do just jumping jacks, okay? So it can be a split jack right here like this, or jumping jack, double arms, double legs, okay? So deadlift, squat, hand curls, jumping jacks, all right? Okay, I'm gonna grab my weights to start with the deadlift, then we'll start the timer and we'll get ourselves going. <clears throat> all right. We're going in about four seconds. Two and one. All right, chest open, shoulders back, strong straight back. As you go down and up. You decide how far down you're going based on what feels good. No need to go all the way to the floor. You can even just come to the knees and up, okay? Just want to make sure you have a good form whatever option you're choosing. We have like five, less than five seconds. How long does that be? All right, 10 second pause. Then we're doing squats. I'm gonna do squats just with the weights on my side. In, here we go. Squat, press up to the heels using those legs. Again, I'm trying to go low. You just go as low as your body feels okay with. Keep it going, keep that chest raised. Sit back in that imaginary chair. Squeeze the glutes at the top. All right, hand curls. Set my weights to the side. Grab my ball. Here we go. Let me lift up, curl in and out. You can also glide in and out with that towel or walk that bridge, stepping it out and in. Just make sure you're breathing, no matter what equipment you're using. Ten seconds. Listen for that beat. All right. We're going to stand it up, finish with that 30 seconds of cardio, join the jumping jacks. In three, two, one, here we go. Jack it out. Here we go on an end. Ten seconds. Walk if you need one. Take some deep breaths. And I'll tell you we're doing chest next. Let me show you the exercises. So we'll start with an overhead press. <clears throat> so again, find a way that you can do for the whole 30 seconds. I'm maybe going to rethink the ones I just grabbed. Go <laughs> overhead. Then we'll come down. And again, this one can be alternated, okay? So it's one arm and then the other. Then we'll come down to the floor, lay on our back and do a chest press. Okay? Right here. Then we'll ditch the weights, we'll flip over, and we'll do some push ups, okay, for the 30 seconds. Once we're through all of those three, which are gonna be tough, <laughs> we're gonna be doing um, bench taps. So, for example, if you have a stair or a chair um, or even like a yoga block, put it right here, tap, 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 okay? That's an option. If you want to use something higher, tap, 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 okay? Or just find a spot on the floor, tap, 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 okay? It'll be slower, too. So, overhead press, chest press, push-ups. I'm going to grab a lighter one for my chest press. Cage my ball. 
We're good going in about seven seconds. With the overhead press. All right, here we go. Arms come up and back down. And of course, remember alternating arms is a very good option so that you can kind of endure to the 30 seconds if needed. Keep it going. Let's see if we get the watch. We have 10 seconds. Keep it going. All right, coming down to the floor for chest press for 30 seconds. Here we go. When you're ready. And again, this one can also be alternating one side and then the other. Do what your body needs. Keep it going. Halfway through. Ten seconds. All right, we're going to ditch the weights, flip over, and do push ups. Yay! Your arms are like, thank you. Or not, they're probably not thankful. All right, push ups on the toes or on the knees. So you can do knees right here or toes. Oh, my arms are like, no thank you. <laughs> Halfway through. You can take it slow, pace yourself. Time is up. Whew. Bench taps for 30 seconds. Then you can do something low, you can even do the floor, or you can take it high. All right, here we go. Tap and tap. Standing nice and tall. going. Less than 10 seconds. Done. Whew. All right. Rest. I don't know about you guys, but march on time. Okay. So this is our final muscle group that we're going to be doing next going to have a focus on laps. If you happen to have a circle band at home, we're going to be using this. If not, there will be some other options. So the first one, we're going to mimic like a lat pull machine. If you've ever gone to the gym, you've got the overhead bar, you're seated here, and you're pulling down, you're going to imitate that with the band. So I take it around my wrist, take my arms up, Pull the chest up, pull the chest. Substitutes. Um, if you don't have a band, you can just mimic that motion and still the pull right here. Activate those muscles right here. Um, there's a lot to be said about just activating the muscles and feeling where they are at. Okay. Um, and third, if you want, if the arms are not too tired, which I'm going to use my band. But you are welcome to instead kind of do a slow reverse um, overhead press where you pull here, but it's going to have the resistance going back up too. So it's going to be like a pull down plus the overhead press. If you're feeling it, you're welcome to. But my recommendations would be either with the band or no band, just activating the muscle. Okay? So that's exercise one. Exercise two is going to be a dumbbell. You can actually switch these. The next one is going to be a bent over row. So we'll grab some dumbbells, hinge at the hips, elbows pull up and extend, up and extend. Then we'll lay down on the floor for the last one. We're going to be doing a dumbbell pullover. I'm going to switch to one dumbbell, holding it on the ends. Arms come up, slight bend, but we keep it mostly straight over the top of the head and pull it back up to the top. Okay? Those are the three strength exercises. The lat pull, the band or without, the bent over row, and then the dumbbell, dumbbell 
pull over. Then we are to some cardio, and we are just gonna be doing some side lunges, side to side, but more for speed. So it's gonna be like a tap, 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 okay? You got it. So starting with that lat pull with the band or your own resistance, going in about five seconds. Three, two, one. Here we go. Pull up the chest and back up. Pull the chest and back up. Keep it going. Breathe. The good news about today's workout is I'm not gonna make you do it three times like we do most of them. I am gonna make you do it one more time. So look forward to that. Four seconds. All right, we're gonna be doing our bent over rows next, okay? Grab the weight for that. Stand tall, hinge at those hips. Here we go, pull up and down. Up, extend back down. Look in the back of the body. You can also alternate this one, doing one arm at a time. Less than 10 seconds. Keep it going. All right. Dumbbell pullover. Coming down to the floor. I'm taking one dumbbell with me, holding it between my hands. Up over my head. Stand over and bring back up towards the floor and back up to the top. Try to press your low back into the floor as you do this move. You can use the core as well. Keep it going. Almost there. There we are. So then we're gonna stand up and do that 30 seconds of cardio. Leaping out to the side. I'm just going to kill a spider. Don't worry about it. Tap and tap. Here we go. One side and then the other. You've got it. Almost there. All right, rest. So, <coughs> grab a drink, stretch things out. We'll do that again. Let me see my spider corpse. Also, again, don't worry about it. We'll do that one more time. Whew. And we'll call it a day. How does that sound? Sufficient? I think so. And you guys should all get one last look at my beautiful basement workout room. Today is officially the end of an era, at least for me. Um, starting Monday, I am required to go into the gym to film these virtual classes. So I am the most sad. Nothing really changes for you guys. But I'm sad that I have to get up out of bed earlier, drive to the rec center. <laughs> um, I will be the first class using, we have like a whole system there um, with these carts, with these cameras that like track your movement and talking. I will be the first person to use these live and it's, you know, six in the morning. So there's not a lot of people around to help. So I'm gonna get there early and hopefully it's okay. But if there happens to be problems, <laughs> um, and you go to get log on and I'm not there, check your email. <laughs> I may have sent you a new link and we might be doing a backup plan. But hopefully you just click on the link on the calendar and it works and everything's beautiful and fine. Okay, just a heads up on that. All right, so we're gonna go back to the top of today's workout, starting with the bicep curl, well, sorry, the bicep focus and they are all curl moves. So curls, hammer curls, high curls, okay? I'm gonna switch out my weights. 
for that. And then the cardio is the alternating knee drive, okay? We're gonna go in about eight seconds. We'll get through these, we'll get to that much deserved stretch, okay? Curls in five seconds. All right, here we go, regular curls. Palms are up, coming towards the body. Remember, alternating is definitely an option. Do what your body needs. Muscles are getting tired. I mean, they get tired with one set just because we're working the same muscle like three times in a row. 10 seconds. Keep breathing, stand tall. Make the biceps do the work, not the back. All right, 10 seconds. We're gonna switch the placement of the hands, which are now parallel to the feet. Going in three, two, one. Curl it up, and again, alternating. Absolutely an option, okay? Or you could kind of do a little pattern where you do both, alternate, alternate, both, okay? Whatever feels good to your body. We have about 10 seconds to go. And then I'm gonna be switching to some lighter weights for those high curls. All right, high curls. Final bicep move. In three, two, one. Arms come out, curl towards the shoulder, stand out. You wanna have a nice bend in the elbows. If you're alternating, weights come in and hold in, and then you extend out, okay? Woo. 10 seconds, keep it going. Almost there, all right, rest. Let me do the cardio, weights go to the side. That alternating knee drag. Take one foot back, get ready to power it up, and then switch sides. Power it, switch. Less than 10 seconds. Keep it going. Rest. All right, our triceps are the next one. So we got that kickback first. Bent over, arm straightening and bending. Overhead, next, followed by skull pressures. With the kickbacks, you can alternate one side and then the other. Overhead, you're welcome to go to one weight. And then with the skull crushers, you can either use one weight or you can alternate one and then the other, okay? So I'm gonna use a slightly lighter weight than I used for my curls. So grab those weights, we'll get started in three, two, and one. Here we go. Hinge forward, straighten and bend. Again, this one can be alternated. One side and then the other. And again, how those arms are feeling. Probably tired. Hopefully in a good way. Keep it going. Almost there. All right, overhead. Tricep extension is next. You can do one way or two. Going in three, two, and one. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. Keep it going. Have your food chip time here. Ten seconds. Breathe. All right, coming down to the floor for full pressures. One dumbbell or two. And press that low back into the floor as we do this. 
bend and straighten. Keep it going. Breathe halfway. And we're so grateful to get to cardio. Which are bench taps. I just realized I didn't tell you guys that. Get rest. <laughs> so we're gonna be standing up and doing either those taps, you know, with a chair or bench, or tapping in front of you. Okay, here we go. So taps right here. You can also slow it down. Okay, do what feels good. You can also do like a soccer ball or anything for these taps. Halfway. Arm back, weight is in the heels, squeeze the glutes at the top, and of course, shoulders back, chest open. Ten seconds to go. All right, stand it up. We'll be doing some squats next. And hold the weights at my side in three, two, one. Here we go. I'm trying to take my low, you take yours as low as feels comfortable. Pressing back, you're sitting in an invisible chair with the hips. Ten seconds. Cardio this time around is going to be jacks. Okay, but we got to do those hand curls first. Coming down to the floor, I've got my ball. I'm going to lift up, curl in and out. You can also do those with the towel or the glider. We can walk your feet out and in in that bridge. Halfway. All right, I'm gonna stand it up for jacks, okay? Or split jacks, depending on how you're feeling. Here we go, jacks for 30, perfect. Out and in with the arms and the feet. Exercises. That'll be overhead press, chest press, and push ups. I don't know if it's just me, by the time we get to those push ups, I'm a little spent. So hang in here, okay? 
Do what you can. And then cardio for this one is going to be that two step shuffle. Da -da 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 -da, pause, da -da 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 -da, pause. Okay. All right, so starting with overhead press. Remember, this one can be alternated. We're going in five seconds. Three, two, one. Legs come up. You go overhead, back down the shoulders. You can alternate here like this, okay? Especially if those arms are feeling tired. Do a little pattern where you do double, single, single. We have about five seconds. All right, coming to the floor for chest press. Here we go. Stand up and back down. You can also alternate this one. That would look like this. Try pressing that low back into the floor. Keep breathing for me. Less than 10 seconds. All right, then we're gonna flip over and do those push-ups. Okay? Knees, toes, you can even take it to an elevated surface or a wall. Okay, here we go. We're doing it. You're doing it. You can go to the knees. Halfway through. Killer. Keep it going. Woo. Standing up. Doing some cardio, which is going to feel like a huge relief. Three step, shuffle, and pause. All right, here we go. Shuffle, tap, shuffle, tap. Side to side, 10 more seconds. Rest. All right, then we are to the last set. This is lat focus. Pulls with the band or no band, okay? Bend over row, right here. And then we'll lay down on the floor with that pull over. We'll stand up, finish with 30 seconds of lunge taps, bend side, okay? So I'm gonna grab my band. We're gonna go in five seconds. Three, two, one, pull at the chest. Up and out. Tension is right at the bottom. Keep it going. Breathe. Almost there. We're there. Bent over rows are next. We are almost done, guys. Almost done. Hanging in here through the edge. Hinge forward. Pull those arms up. Ignore all the beeping. Just keep going. Again, keep going. <clears throat> Ten seconds. Four, three, two, and done. All right, then we are going to the over on the ground. Three, two, one. Here we go. Overhead. And up. Press the low back. In 
to the floor. Less than 10 seconds, guys. Three, two, and one. Standing up, finishing with the cardio, with those side lunges. Side lunge, tap. Three, two, one. Tap and tap. Some days, some weeks, our high intensity comes from really crazy cardio, body weight moves. Some weeks, like today, comes from those weights and the repetition. Still high intensity interval though for you. Five seconds. And done. Woo! Congrats on making it through, guys. Grab a sip of water. Start our stretching standing today. You can take one heel out in front, hinge at the hips, just knees bent, hands on the thighs, and just lean forward. Okay, if this feels good. Stay here. If you have the flexibility, you can reach that toe. Welcome to reach that toe and pull up. Also, getting a little bit of a calf stretch here. Breathe. And it's Friday, we made it to the weekend. Stand up, take that other foot out, hinge at those hips, you can stay right here, or you're welcome to go a little further. Grab that toe. Hold a little longer. And then stand up. I'm going to do a quad stretch. So I'm going to grab that foot, find my balance. You can grab a chair or a wall. You're also welcome to take the opposite arm. Dig up, reaching towards the sky, giving the body some symmetry, some balance. Hold. You got it. I'm going to release and do that other side. Grab the foot, stand tall. Reach up overhead. Breathe. And release. All right, we're going to come down to the floor. I'm going to take both of those legs out in front. Sit tall. Bend one knee. Cross it over and hug that knee into the chest. You can add a spinal twist. So sit tall, arm comes behind. Look over that shoulder. Come back to center and do the other side. Look like that knee, sit nice and tall, arm comes behind and look over the shoulder. And then come back to center. We're going to flip over onto all fours. I'm going to do a little cat cow here, okay? And around up, down, down, look forward, round up, down, and look forward. Do two more for me. And one more. Then we're going to sit back in child's pose, stretching those hands out, really lengthening through the back and the shoulders. Take some nice, relaxing breaths. 
We're going to come back to all fours. We're going to thread the needle, take the arm through, and lean as much or as little as feels good into this arm. You control how deep it is. Back to center, do that other side, thread the arm through. Get a lot of upper body today, so we're just trying to make sure you get that all stretched out. Do some great things to come back to tomorrow if you're feeling sore or stiff. Come back to center. Have a seat for a second. We're going to do the triceps. So an elbow, to, elbow is going to come up towards the ceiling. Grab that elbow and gently pull. Release and switch to the other elbow. Grab it and gently pull. And release. Lay down on the floor for me. Throw yourself on back. Push one leg to the floor. Other leg is bent. Hug that knee towards the chest. Take the hand opposite of that knee, grab that knee and gently pull it across the body. Try and keep those shoulders on the ground, reaching out to the side with that other arm. Come back to center, take that leg down to the floor, bring that other knee up, hug it towards the chest. Hold here for a few seconds. And take that opposite hand, grab that knee and gently pull it across the body while the other arm lays out to the side. Now come back to center. Okay, we're going to take both knees into the chest. Put them here for a second. If you want, you can rock side to side. We're going to do figure four next. Okay, release, cross an angle over that opposite thigh, thread the hands through that, and grab that bottom leg. Keep taking those deep, calming breaths. Let's switch into the other side, cross that ankle over the other thigh, grab the bottom leg and gently pull. And release. Take those feet to the floor. We're going to sit up in a comfortable place to sit. And let's take one deep breath together. Okay. Let's inhale our arms up. Exhale our arms down. Thanks for joining me here today. Really burning out those muscles. Um, you guys have.